Now, we need to simplify these fractions to their lowest terms. And the way we simplify fractions is by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by the highest common factor of both numbers. So first, we need to simplify 6 twelfths. 6 and 12 are both in the 2 times table, they're both in the 3 times table as well, but the highest common factor of 6 and 12 is 6, because that's the highest times table which has both numbers. So, we can divide both 6 and 12 by 6 to get our simplified fraction. 6 divided by 6 is 1, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So, simplifying 6 twelfths gives us 1 half. So here we've got an equivalent fraction, but the equivalent fraction, though it's the same size, it uses smaller numbers. Now we have 10 fifteenths. 10 and 15 are both in the 5 times table, so we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2, 15 divided by 5 is 3, so 10 fifteenths simplifies to 2 thirds. Now we have 20 over 24. Both 20 and 24 are in the 2 times table, but the highest common factor of 20 and 24 is 4, the highest times table which has both 20 and 24 as multiples is the 4 times table. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, and 24 divided by 4 is 6. So 5 sixths is our simplified fraction. We've expressed 20 over 24 in its lowest terms. Finally, we have 6 tenths. 6 and 10 are both in the 2 times table, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 10 divided by 2 is 5, so that simplifies to 3 fifths. And to make it clear what we're doing, let's show fraction bars for all of these fractions. So first, we had 6 twelfths, so 6 parts out of 12. We simplified that to 1 half, but you can see that when we simplify the fraction, though it's not split up into as many pieces, we have the same amount of the fraction bar shaded. So then we had 10 fifteenths, but we saw that that could be simplified to 2 thirds. Then 20 over 24 can simplify to 5 sixths, and 6 tenths can simplify to 3 fifths. So what we're doing when we simplify fractions isn't changing the size of the fraction, so though the numbers are smaller, when we simplify a fraction, the fraction is the same size.